Arizona's own Clark Griswold and Gibby has got to hang out with him. He's live in Goodyear. That is incredible. Olivia, he built every piece you see here. I mean, from the tree, you see the snowman band there. I'm going to say there are, it's, they, it's got to be a jazz band. You want to know why? Because if you're a snowman, you got to stay cool. And cool jazz bands are cool, right, Bob? I want to introduce you to Bob Sanda, who, I, and that's Sanda, S-A-N-D-A. So I'm going to call him Santa Claus and his reindeer pepper here who are here to spread that holiday cheer. And you said uh, this is one thing you and your brother have been doing for years, and it's that. People have asked for it even more this year. That's correct. It takes me about eight months to build these scenes. I do something different each year and about two and a half months to put it up. And when I was setting this up at the beginning of September, I had had people coming by just thrilled that the display was going up and they say, hey, we were wondering if this was going to happen this year the way it's been going. And I told him, I said, I couldn't get this up fast enough, to be honest with you. So a lot of people are coming, being very grateful, uh, thanking us each night for uh, bringing this to them. What so, keeps you going every year? Is it just that, the people who come by here to take a look at this? It is. Uh, the whole concept behind this is to generate a feeling of love, peace, and joy. And that's always been my theory ever since I've been doing these. And when I can create that and then somebody gives me the feedback and says they are receiving that, uh, I feel like I have accomplished my goal. Well, not only do they receive an awesome display, but one thing that you're adamant about is a message, and, and that message is here as well. Correct. Each year I put the sign out with a different message, uh, Bible Scripture, talking about uh, what the, really the season's all about, and that's celebrating the birth of our Savior. So I always try to find a theme that's going to coincide with the message and make sure it all uh, correlates. And when you take a look at this, I mean, not only do you build all of this, but you, I mean, you're, uh, every year, it seems like you're getting a little more intricate when you have the Santa hat moving and everything else that goes to the music. Yeah, I feel like if you can uh, not only give them uh, the sights with the lights, but the, the sound with the music and, and uh, give them a full experience, you know, you try to activate as many senses as you can so they can really appreciate that feeling, uh, that, that, that I think is the secret. Yeah, and I think a big secret is little Pepper here. Pepper does not want to miss out on anything, so anytime those lights come on, Pepper needs to come check out to make sure everything is on point, guys. So I'll leave you one last look here, as I mentioned. Santa Claus, along with Pepper, his reindeer. And look at this. I'm going to take a step back here, because the further I go back, the further you get a better idea of what he's done here. And oh my gosh, take a look at this. Isn't this amazing? Oh, Gibby, I love it so much. It is so gorgeous. I can't imagine the task of having to take it all down. I wonder if the neighbor's help or is it like a party where everybody leaves you? <laughs> I'll be like, one, two, three, not it. <laughs> exactly. Oh, it is just beautiful. Uh, very impressive. So thanks so much for sharing that this morning. And happy holidays. Definitely spreading the cheer.